everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a long time so I barely know what to say, <laughs> barely know how to talk. But today's video is going to be a vlog and as I said it's been a while since I filmed the vlog. But today is Thursday and I'm hoping that this vlog will run until Sunday. And in the meantime I'm hoping we will done so, uh, done. do some fun things and just... I guess you will get a tour of the stable and maybe of the house and yeah I just uh, I've been wanting to do a vlog for a long time in my new new home um, but we always have so much to do on the weekend so I never get to start the vlog uh, but today I'm starting the vlog I'm starting it on a Thursday so hopefully I can get enough footage by Sunday and then I can put it up next week hopefully uh, but yeah I am, as I said, in the stable. I need to clean out the stalls uh, and then I need to fill up the hay bags uh, with their food and then I need to get them inside uh, and I think I'm going to just brush them, clean them a little bit when they come in and then they are just going to have an easy day today, uh, both of them. So yeah, maybe we should do an introduction to the horses once I get them inside as well. But yeah, now I'm going to uh, I'm gonna lift you up. I'm gonna put on some music. It's very it's very dirty, but I have a, a speaker right here uh, where I will put on some music, and then I need to uh, get the whatever those are called. You will see when I get there uh, and start cleaning out the field or the stalls. <laughs> Uh, here's outside, you can barely see anything. Ooh. Ooh, that was hard with one hand. Okay, now we're inside. So, if you know what this is, what the proper name for this is in English, please let me know down in the comments. And uh, then also for these, like this one, or I mean this is a traditional one like this uh, and they, then these are in plastic but what what are they I don't know what they're called <sighs> let me just uh, clean the stalls real quick and then yeah, we'll continue <laughs> with our tasks for the night the floors. place you here again and I'm just gonna
Okay, so I know you've all met this lovely lady before. This is Madikin. Uh, she's been featured in my vlogs before, uh, before I moved. And she's 16, um, 165 centimeters high. Uh, she is amazing. <laughs> she's, uh, I, I've been riding her since last September. But I bought her in July, so she's mine now. So I think before when I featured her in my box, she wasn't mine, but now she's mine. Uh, and last weekend, whoop, last weekend, Madiken. She doesn't want me to just stand here and talk. She wants me to put her in her in her stall. But last weekend we went to like a training competition and she was so amazing and lovely and it went super well so I'm super happy with her and I don't know she's after Cadento which is a very famous Swedish um, stallion uh, that used to do a lot of show jumping so she's a show jumper and yeah, I think that's kind of the introduction all she needs she's so pretty she will just introduce herself and then we have Penny, which I'm gonna put her on the on here, and then we can talk about her. <laughs> okay, so here we have her, Penny. Uh, Penny is a three-year-old pony, actually. She's kind of as big as they get ponies, hopefully. <laughs> she might turn into, or it might be that she's a horse. She might be too big to be a pony, but hopefully she becomes uh, the biggest category of pony but as I said did I say it? she's three years old I've had her since uh, or I've owned her since July but we moved her here or I got her when we moved here so early September and she has not or before I got her she had not had a rider on her or a saddle or anything uh, so that is what we have been working on since she got here and she's uh, like her temperament is super nice <laughs> Hello, I'm trying to film you and say that you're super nice and then you <laughs> start biting the the string that holds you. But yeah, so she's super nice. Her temperament is super good. I, uh, like first time I put her on a saddle, she didn't react. And then when I got on her for the first time, she didn't react at all. And she still haven't really, or like she reacts, she knows I'm there, but she, she there's no like negative reaction, I guess. Nothing like major. Um, so I'm super happy with her. I've only like been on her, like like sitting across or straddling her uh, for like free like laps in in the riding field. Um, so uh, yeah, we're working on it. that's it for today uh, for the horses so let's go inside this is like the best sound in the world hey hey the horse is eating but I'm gonna go inside have some food myself and I have like a project that I want to do so We'll see if I have the energy to do it tonight or I might just kind of prepare for it. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. I have like an, it's like an app uh, or it's a website that is like uh, coded by the people using it. So like anyone can code something on the, like on the website. Um, but basically it's, 
is an app that's supposed to help you be more like productive so you have like to-do lists and you have like habits and also like dailies you want to do each day and I'm gonna show you the app but it's pretty funny because it's like a game so you get points or like you get both experience points and you get money each time you complete either like a daily or you do like a, a positive habit um, or uh, like something on your to-do list and then you co you can sometimes if you cross off something uh, you will get like an egg or a potion and then you can get like pets and it's, <laughs> it's actually really funny so I have to do some of the things on my dailies um, from that app because I haven't done them yet and I will also cross off some that I have when I got in the food was ready so yeah food break first <laughs> but today we're eating uh, salmon and some potatoes in the oven some homemade hollandaise hollandaise not sure uh, and then just some random vegetables <laughs> i guess <laughs> bon appetit the lighting is really bad in here but one of the things on my list is to uh, clean for 15 minutes so <clears throat> uh, this is <laughs> where we do our laundry in here uh, and it's yeah it's not very organized right now so I'm gonna do my 15 minutes of clean in here today and then maybe I get started on the, the product the project I want to do it's not like it's, it's not like a secret product I just want to I have two kind of flowers that I need to repot and I want to do that in here um, just because I have oops, I have like a water <clears throat> or like a tap right here and it's very easy to to clean off like the bench top in here so I want to do that in here but before that I need to kind of organize or like clean up in here so I'm gonna do that now for uh, hopefully not a lot more than 15 minutes and then we can start with the project <laughs> I guess I have one more thing on my list that it's gonna take up some time and that's I need to read for 15 minutes so I still need to have time to both shower and then read uh, so we'll see if I get to the project and if I do <clears throat> another goal that I have kind of with this weekend is that it's Halloween this weekend <clears throat> and I don't have any like Halloween decorations so if I go out like tomorrow or Saturday and if I happen to go by a store that has like pumpkins I would like to get a pumpkin and kind of carve it and then I also need to get wow the lighting is super bad I also want to get those kind of balls with like uh, bird seed in them and hang those in some of the trees just so that the birds will have food over the winter so yeah that's also my goal over the weekend to 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 do those two things yeah okay oh i have another goal i also we also have like a chestnut tree outside and i've been doing some diys with some chestnuts so i would like to do that this weekend as well so i need to collect some and i would also like to i kind of read somewhere that you can kind of <clears throat> The way you do with like avocado seeds where you like plant them you can do that with chestnut trees or like chestnuts as well but you need to kind of prepare them you need to put them in a bag and then you need to put them in the freezer for a while and then you can grab them and then start planting them so i think we might uh, like take the first steps <laughs> uh, towards planting some chestnuts uh, this weekend as well but yeah okay be right back okay so here we have them, the plants that I've been talking about. Um, let's make like a mini haul. Uh, I went to like the, I don't know, garden store today and I got some uh, nutrition for the plants. And I think you put this in the water. Um, yeah, you put it in the water when, when you water the plants once a week. And then I got two of these smaller ones. Uh, like plastic pots I guess they are called uh, and then I got one big one for another uh, plant uh, but yeah I'm gonna take these up these are uh, 
Let's take this out and put it here. These are in these uh, like smaller containers. You can see. So I measure this. You're supposed. <laughs> this looks not good. Okay, so you're supposed to put them in a pot that is like two, one to two sizes bigger. So I measured this one, and this was like. 12 centimeters across so the next one up is like 14 and then then it's like this one which is 17 centimeters across so i decided to go up two sizes but now looking at them it seems like that might have been a little bit too big but this is the one that we're or these are the ones that we're gonna repot and the reason is that um i heard someone say that if you can see the roots like down here uh then it's time to repot and the, the soil is also pretty compact and you can see that it has one of those like I don't know what it is but it's like a cube uh, or like a cylinder in the center where they kind of start to grow it and it kind of doesn't want to lose it's like it's right here it doesn't want to disappear so I don't really know how to do this uh, but I'm gonna attempt it anyway so I'm gonna put this in here so as I said I got these and then I got some Lekka? Lekka? I'm not sure uh, like these balls and <laughs> just because oops that was not good okay because I heard someone say that you should put them at the bottom so I will like put those in the bottom here and then I will put soil on top and put the plant in and so then I also got some soil, which is right here. Uh, so yeah, I need a scissor and then I'm just going to try it with one of them and see, see what happens. But I'm going to see if I can find a tripod to put the phone on so you can see what I'm doing. Or maybe I can put you over here. So now I've seen that you're supposed to take it out. Whoops. That was easy. And you can see all the roots. And then you're supposed to kind of loosen up the roots because you want kind of the old uh, soil to kind of go away. Okay, so I feel like I'm making progress, but it's very messy. And I'm not sure like all of the smaller roots are like falling off, but I feel like this kind of bigger root system is still here. So I'm going to continue and we'll see where we end up. Okay, so I think that's as good as it's going to get. I've seen some people like wash the roots, but I think that's kind of if the roots are bad. I feel like these all look or like... From what I can tell, they aren't like rotten or like none of them look different than the others. Um, so I think I'm just gonna kind of plant it and see what happens. Maybe you guys will be in the comments like, oh you're killing your plant. I'm like, oh sorry. <laughs> so yeah, let's, let's just put her in here. Okay, so here's the first one. It's very wobbly. I don't know if I should put like more support, like more soil. But let's just do the other one just because it's so messy. I don't think I will be, we we'll want to do this twice. Okay, for well, this one, we just have kind of two really, really long roots. Uh, this one, I think it looks okay as well. So let's just put this in here. So I'm going to remove some of the dead leaves as well. You can see I haven't really had time to care for my plants the past few months or so. Uh, and also this one, or like, I guess I started getting more interested in my plants just recently. And I knew that this one was one of those that needed uh, some love. Uh, because this one is like a Christmas plant that I got last year, um, but I still have. The memory card got full <laughs> so I was interrupted but basically it used to have these like white leaves uh, and now they are completely green because I think what you're supposed to do is that like what they do 
they like cover the leaves so when they don't like certain leaves and when they don't get enough sun they will uh, like turn white or red depending on the, the depending on the plant I guess um, so these are green but I would like to see them at least feel good <laughs> by Christmas and it's like two months left so hopefully um, this turns out all right so I made a mess I'm gonna get some water and then I'm gonna jump into the shower and then we're gonna take off uh, I need to take off cleaning from my list and also then after I've showered we're gonna do <laughs> of course I'm gonna clean this up this mess up first but after I've taken a shower we're gonna read for 15 minutes and then it's time for bed so I'm probably gonna read in bed but anyways I'm in bed I took a shower I didn't wash my hair but I took a shower and now I'm in bed and I'm gonna get my 15 minutes of reading in and I am currently reading Into Africa and this is written by Martin Dugard and it's a non-fiction book it's called The Epic Adventures or it's called it's a non-fiction book and it's called Into Africa uh, but it's The Epic Adventures of Stanley and Livingstone so it's like a uh, this is uh, Livingstone and then that I think that's Stanley and uh, Livingstone is like an explorer so he was exploring Africa and then yeah if you don't know I'm not gonna tell you anything more it reads very much like a fiction book like you can't really believe it's true and it also has like a in the beginning let me see if I can find yeah so here in the beginning you have like a map <laughs> I reference this map like all the time when I'm reading like basically every chapter I'm like what 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 do you have what what's happening now and like it's it's based on a, or like it's not based it's like a retelling of events that have happened so like I could just like look it up on Wikipedia or something but no it's actually pretty um yeah you're kind of at the edge of your seat and like wondering what's gonna happen so yeah currently reading this so yeah <laughs> that's enough of this super red nose <laughs> super flooding angle so talk to you tomorrow good morning uh, we are currently on our way if you can hear me to let the horses out it's 6 30 in the morning uh, we slept in a little bit today because none of us is going to the office some blankets on them just because it's raining or supposed to rain and then we'll just keep them food outside and let them out. It's now 10 to 8 and I am ready to start my work day. I am in my home office so I have my two screens right here uh, and this is usually where I sit when I work from home and I have a window right here and then face looks funny but in there there's like the living room but yeah I sit in here when I work and yeah uh, oh I did my makeup so you should like I'm trying out the Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay palette because I just recently got that and I feel like two things like one my creativity is really low but also um, when I get a new palette I like to kind of try out the colors so today I just put kind of the turquoise green color just kind of all over my lid and then I took a little bit of a shimmer and just pat it out like kind of on the center and then I just put on some black black eyeliner and here we are some inner corner highlight as well but yeah I I mean it didn't look patchy or anything uh, in my opinion so so far so good but yeah talk to you later <laughs> hey guys it's now half past six and I am done with my work day so I'm just gonna put on my 
uh, stable clothes and then I'm gonna go out to the horses but I'm super tired today so I don't think I will be vlogging anything more good morning <laughs> or good afternoon it's actually a Saturday right now or like 2 p.m. on Saturday so I've had a slow day first at 7 a.m. we let the horses out and then we went back to bed slept for a few hours and then I was actually working for a few hours and then I did the stable so like clean out the stalls and then fill up their food bags and all of that so the stable is ready for uh, just uh, kind of riding this afternoon or like later later um so i don't have any plans to leave my house today so i won't be able to go out and get like pumpkins to do to do some kind of halloween uh, kind of carvings so uh, i won't do that but instead i thought i would do a makeup look to uh, celebrate halloween so yeah that is what we're gonna do right now because i'm currently sitting at my makeup desk <clears throat> I don't have a clear plan of what I want to do and it's not really a like a costume like emulating someone or like trying to look like someone uh, it's just kind of I'm gonna I don't know I'm just gonna go with the flow and hopefully I turn out maybe not super scary but at least very different than what I look like now so I'm gonna get started I'm gonna give you some updates along the way and yeah let's just get going okay so i haven't really been filming the process steps but here we are so not done but i am quite far along the way so my inspiration is kind of like a kind of like a monster's high character mixed with like frankenstein's monster so and it's not like it's not the technique is not like it's, it's not supposed to look really sick like the stitching <laughs> uh, but what I did it, it looks less green on camera I feel like but what I did is I, I took a foundation I took this one the um, YSL All Hours foundation and this one is in the shade B10 because I thought that might be my lightest foundation and then I took some of this uh, foundation mixer in white and then I just took kind of like a a, gr a, gr <laughs> a green um, cream paint uh, and I mix that in and then I put that all over my face and then I use the same green to kind of do some contouring and I also used a shadow from the Be Perfect, Be Perfect Carnival Free palette and then I just kind of did a super simple eyeshadow look uh, and kind of contoured my nose and then I put this kind of <laughs> I feel like this is very popular right now like the uh, Kim Possible kind of top lip uh, so I wanted to try that on myself, so I did that in this look, and then I just did the stitch, stitch parts and some lashes, and now I'm hoping to find like a wig. Uh, hopefully I have like a wig somewhere that I could put on, and then I'm gonna put on something with like a high, high neckline, uh, something black. And then I'm hopefully going to film a video. So I, I need to film the finale for the graveyard product pan, uh, but I I am missing a piece to my tripod so like the piece that connects the camera to the tripod I don't know like that has disappeared somewhere in the move so if I can find a way to to like support my camera then I will film the graveyard finale and yeah I will update you I had to go inside and get a new battery for the camera because the one that was in it ran out and while I was inside I also grabbed some snacks so <laughs> perfect perfect Saturday evening whoops <laughs> weird angle perfect Saturday evening in the stable um, oh crooked better so yeah so I did like a quick queen Oh, that's very good. Hope you can see. Mm. I just kind of moved around some stuff. And now we are going to go into the tech room where I keep the saddles and stuff. Mm. This is go over there. Mm. Because I wanted to show you. But right. 
So here, here is the current state of the tack room. So it's looking like a hot mess. And that is just because I want to kind of redo it. So I have a vision because I only have two horses. So I probably will never have more than four saddles. So my vision is to remove these two and then move the ones in the center, move them a bit further down because there's such a gap between this saddle and that one. So you could move the top one like a bit further down. And then up here I would have shelves and I would like them to be kind of like a dark wood. So I will get like some type of simple wood and then kind of stain it with like a darker color so that they look like better uh, and so then I will keep a lot of stuff up there like saddle blankets and all of that stuff um, and then maybe because here is two shelves and then there is one up here and then you can see the one over there it used to be over here but we had to remove it when we installed a new door um, but it's kind of I don't know if it I don't know if I think that the best solution is to have like these shelves right where you come in because then they have to be so narrow because it's not a very big tack room. So what we're thinking is that we might remove these, uh, the bridle hangers, and then we might put them over here instead, like just inside of the um, door. And so those won't take up a lot of space so then you could have like a bit wider um, shelves like a bit further in and then you might have like a few of those but I feel like I don't know maybe those will be enough maybe I will be able to have my like some other things in other places because uh, I don't want to keep too many things in here just because it gets kind of humid in here I guess um, so yeah but in here we also have like hangers and I need to sort this out but why we're moving in here is because I thought I would just do kind of like a cleaning in here as well just because I've been kind of ignoring it since I know we're gonna remake it so I need to remove that one and I'm gonna put it in the garage instead and yeah I'm just gonna kind of tidy up a bit so here is kind of a before And here is the after. I just realized I forgot to <laughs> clean this shelf right here, but I need to organize the all of the stuff here. I need to get another one of these for the bits because I have so many bits. So I would like to get one more and then I could put all of the others on that one. And then I just kind of move that saddle uh, and move those up there and then yeah here I didn't do anything I need to <laughs> do that and then I kind of removed everything from this shelf I put like all the small stuff in there and then here I have stuff to clean the tacks or like bridles and all of that and then here is uh, where I keep like stuff if they get um, if they hurt themselves or if I need to clean like a wound or something it's all in there like smaller otherwise I wouldn't call the vet of course yeah so I think it's a yeah that's kind of chaos in there but those are a lot of things that I would probably put them in two of these I have another one of these so we'll put it probably put them in two and then put them like up on the shelves when I get the shelves I could probably put some things up on this shelf but yeah I'm gonna leave it like it is so yeah that is the tack room clean and yeah I think I'm going to go for a walk with my Dicken because uh, I don't know if I told you we worked with Penny in the in the riding field and I sat on her again and we walked around and we practiced kind of stopping and starting I think I told you I walked with her yesterday for like a like a bareback late night walk uh, or I rode her bareback 
uh, and I think I'm gonna do the same today so it's currently I don't know I like I have no idea how much on my to-do list I've managed to do but it's currently 7 p.m. so I think I'm gonna do that and then when I get in the food will probably be ready um, I might collect some chestnuts on the way so we can get that started um, but yeah talk to you after after the ride <laughs> so I just got in from the stable and we had a really nice ride very calm not much happened sorry I can hear my boyfriend cooking food uh, but the food is almost ready but before I uh, got in from the stable or on my way back I actually managed to pick some chestnuts so I'm gonna turn you around so as you can see I did pick some chestnuts so I'm gonna try and put them I'm probably gonna read to you what it said on the website that I find found uh, on how to to grow them uh, so yeah okay so I did find I found a website where they tell you how to grow them show you uh, and they have like two ways to grow them so um they at recommendera recommend me good ah so they recommend you to kind of find the chestnuts on the in the spring when they have already started to like grow and then just put them in like a vase you know if you know how like you usually uh, like when you usually grow like avocado seeds kind of like that uh, but there is also a way when you do it in the fall like I'm doing right now so they say to take several chestnuts and put them in a plastic bag with some uh, tissue paper so I have some tissue paper and two bags and then they tell you to put them in the freezer for a couple of weeks and then move them over to the fridge uh, a few more weeks and you're supposed to not completely close up like close the bag so that there is still some air and then you take out the bag and you put it in like room temperature uh, and if you need to wet the, the tissue paper you do that and then uh, once you see the chestnut kind of split and you it starts to grow then you can put it in kind of like a base so yeah, I'm gonna put the chestnuts in the freezer right now and yeah, hopefully update you in a few weeks. I'm, I might leave it like in in the freezer for two weeks because here it's like, if it's below zero, it's below zero for just a few days. So it shouldn't have to, like they shouldn't have to be in below zero for like for an extended period of time so I'm gonna put them there for like two weeks and then maybe the fridge for two weeks more and then I'm gonna try to grow them so we'll see <laughs> it's gonna be a long project but yeah so yeah let's uh, I'm gonna put them in the bag and then I'm gonna show you after they are now in the bags and I'm gonna put them in the freezer so I put a bit more water on this one and a bit less on this one so we'll see kind of what happens i think i put like six in each so yeah hopefully we have some uh to use I maybe i should put some like in a strategic place outside and see if i can find some like that has sprouted in the spring and like try that as well but yeah i'm gonna put this in the freezers and or in the freezer and then i'm gonna grab some food because the food is done Last night we actually had some sushi, some takeout, and tonight we're having some risotto and some goat cheese that we beat kind of in the oven, and then some white wine. Hi guys, it's Sunday. It's currently around 11 a.m. I've had a pretty slow morning today as well. I did wake up and take the horses out, and then I did everything in the stable, so I cleaned the stalls and um, yeah, filled the hay, and then I got in and had some breakfast and then I've just been kind of lacing around on the couch uh, so what I'm currently doing is that I am currently just kind of cleaning up a little bit uh, like moving stuff that seems to just go everywhere so 
while we're here, <laughs> I will give you an update on the flowers because they are right here. Here they are. I put them. Uh, I still haven't gotten the uh, the pots from the garage, so they are just standing here on this kind of tray. Um, and this one is a bit wonky. Like the the stem is like right standing right upright, but then the whole <laughs> kind of thing is just kind of very crooked. Um, but yeah, I feel like they are. I put them here, they were standing like where I repotted them for like a day and then now I move them here just because the, the soil is not really drying out so um, I mean it shouldn't dry out immediately uh, because then you would have to water all the time but I feel like it feels very wet so I put them here to get as much sunlight as possible but yeah. Uh, I'm just going to continue doing that for a bit and then oh I wanted to show you like this is kind of what I want to do with the chestnuts like fill this up and then I also want to do one of these um, like this where I have like a candle and then you have chestnuts in this very like low bowl and so I have another one of uh, one of the candles and I also have another one of these so I'm probably gonna put that in the apartment uh, so I just wanted to show you what I did with the chestnuts yesterday so some of them I put in the freezer as I told you but some of them I also put in here in the bathtub so I kind of uh, clean them a little bit just like watering them down and like shaking them up a bit um, so now I'm hoping that they will dry a bit in here and then I'm gonna put them back in this tub and then we're gonna put them where they should be like do some sound constellations do something fun with them uh, so I do have, as I said, uh, one more candle. Uh, I also have this kind of heart thing tray. Um, and then I have another one of those small uh, glass things. And then I have these two. Um, and yeah, I think I have more candles, I believe have more like a green candles not the exact same and, and I also have some white candles and yeah I have some like these smaller candles with like gold so I might do something fun with those but yeah I'm just gonna continue cleaning and show the and I guess show you the results. This is looking like a hot mess. <laughs> we kind of just got done cleaning and I just took a shower and then in a few minutes my f my mom and her friend are coming to visit us and her friend was very curious about our new place. So uh, yeah, as I said, we've been cleaning but before they get here let's do kind of like a quick tour. Um, so flipping around here is the um, hallway uh, where you get in. And then we have, this is not done at all, so here we have kind of like a guest room. Uh, so here's still chaos and there's Spix. Little monkey, or she's a cat, but. Uh, and then here we have uh, Vicky's room. Here's also kind of chaos. Hopefully I can do like a tour later on when it's not chaos. And this is where we where you come in and then here we have the washroom um, and then you get through here and we have a little it's kind of one and sweet but not really because it's not by our or like oh, attached to our bedroom uh, but then you step in here and we have my makeup room and then in here is the bedroom 
Uh, so here's where we sleep. Really nice. Just kind of a drawer or chest of drawers. And yeah, still a bit messy. Um, but I feel like we've come a long way in the past two months. And then here we also have like a bathroom with a bathtub and also a shower. And then you walk into the kitchen. Here is like a lot of space, like workspace. And then you have the kitchen. And then here you have the dining room, sort of. And then here we have Ricky. <laughs> and then in here is like kind of my office space. Uh, where I sit when I work from home and then in here we just have a lot of books and and those paintings will go up on this wall I think I have eight of them but I think I'm gonna put six on this wall because it's very very blank space and then we have the living room here so we have a sofa TV yeah. quick quick house tour. <laughs> it's very pretty, this horse. I love all of the details and this one is so pretty. This is the fireplace. The previous owners put this in and it's so pretty. It gives the, the house a lot of character. And yeah, after they've been here we might go up to the apartment and then I will of course give you a tour of the apartment as well. Um, but I think since they're coming soon we're gonna do that after and hopefully kind of rearrange a bit up there because it's very, um, there's not much stuff up there. So uh, I will be bringing, as I told you before, like the candles and all of that, I will be bringing that up to the apartment, see if we can make it a little bit like fall cozy up there. Um, but yeah, talk to you soon. Here's a little bit of an update on, um, you can hear the washing machine in the background, I'm sorry. But here's a little bit of an update on the repotted plant. So I just took the plastic uh, pot and just put it inside of these kind of terracotta pots. Um, and I don't know why they don't have like a standardized system because uh, the ones I got, the black ones, like the plastic pots, they are 17 centimeters in diameter. And so I thought that the terracotta pots that were 19 centimeter in diameter would fit perfectly because then the black ones would fit inside of them. But the, the slope of the sides of the pots were not the same, so the, the 17 centimeter diameter didn't go inside of the 19 centimeter diameter, like ceramic pots so I had to go up a size and do the 21 centimeters so they look kind of big <laughs> but I think it looks nice I'm, I'm hopeful that they will kind of uh, grow a lot and like if you see here you can see that they have like new leaves coming and I'm not sure I'm like I guess they were there before I started repotting but I'm pretty excited about them uh, so hopefully they will grow bigger and feel better you can see they have a lot of damage so hopefully they will start feeling better soon now that they are in their biggie pots tonight we're having tomato soup with white beans uh, some pasta and some feta cheese it's gonna be lovely can't wait to dig in <laughs> I did just get in from feeding the horses so I took a little clip of that and I'm gonna include that now because they are so sweet. We walk into the stable and they neigh and tell you that they want their feed so that clip is coming now. And 
then I thought we could kind of go through the list of things that I wanted to do this weekend and kind of see what I managed to uh, kind of cross off. So one of the things was that I wanted to organize the laundry room or the washroom and I feel like I managed to do that. We had like two, we have like cabinets in there, the ones that I stood on or like not stood on but were by uh, on Thursday when I repotted the plants. Like below that we had some cabinets and I was kind of able to reorganize those and put in some shelves uh, to make it easier to um, just organize in there so it's just not one big cabinet and yeah I feel like I was successful. I moved around some things and I feel like it looks really nice now so yeah I'm really happy about that. And then I wanted to clean the tack room in the stable and as you saw I was able to do that. I hope I showed it. I think I did when it was done. I'm, yeah 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 I did. I did. <laughs> um, uh, and then I was supposed to also uh, um, repair my short chaps that I used when I arrived which I didn't do and then I also wanted to try something with a saddle blanket which I didn't do so yeah two, two things on my list I didn't <laughs> okay <laughs> and they keep going so I wanted to also do uh, some things in the garden so I wanted to see if we had some apples left and pick them for the horses and then I also wanted to uh, kind of smooth out um, some things that I, they have kind of kind of ruined when they were digging in the garden and then I wanted to also pick some chestnuts and that I was able to do so I did do the last one and then I wanted to kind of make it nice in the apartment I didn't have a ton of time to do that uh, but I did a little bit so everything that I kind of gathered from the main house uh, that I wanted to uh, put up there um, I did so it's in the apartment now it's just not like fully styled I guess uh, but I was happy I managed to do that I did do a little <laughs> I've been talking about these chestnuts all weekend but I did do a tiny bit of DIY I did do the one in the small kind of glass container I did another one of those and put that in the apartment but then I also did one which I took a clip of that I'm inserting now where I kind of filled a glass jar with uh, chestnuts and then I kind of put just one candle in it and yeah you have to be really really careful with that one so I only like burned it for a little bit so that the wick would be like burned and not like white so it looked new uh, but I thought that turned out really pretty and cozy as well and yeah I think that was it so I feel like I got a ton of things done today like I did I like thoroughly clean like both the bathrooms and like the entire house and organized in the laundry room and yeah just kind of I, f I feel accomplished today and yesterday and like all these days so yeah I'm really happy with my weekend oh I forgot to tell you I was also on uh, like after my mom and her friend left I went out to the stable and then me and my dickin took like a long ride there's like a not trail but like I guess gravel road uh, where you can like walk around and it's six kilometers so we did that uh, tonight as well when it's <laughs> pitch black and like with a um, one of those lamps on my forehead and yeah it was really cozy so yeah I did talk to you a little bit in the beginning uh, of this vlog about the app or like website Habitica like I told you I had this app that would make me more productive so and I promised you I promised you I would show you that so I'm not gonna go fully through it because um, I feel like I'm not really on the right computer and I misspelled my <laughs> username so please ignore that I made myself 10, 10 years older than I am I'm usually not on this computer so I need to remember my oh yeah here we are Okay, so I think I'm recording. <laughs> that wasn't easy. So I think I'm recording. So this is kind of my profile. Um, and then you have uh, like habits over here. So I don't have any habits, but that could be like uh, eat healthy or something like that. And then you would like tap the uh, plus sign if you're like if I had eaten healthy that day or if I had not eaten healthy that I would 
push the minus sign and if I do the plus sign I will get like experience points or XP and if I do the minus sign, the sign then I would lose in half uh, and so I mostly have like to do's which are these and then I have dailies and so but they they don't have to be like dailies they could you could put them either like weekly or monthly or yearly um oops and so what i have done today so or like my dailies are that i want to walk uh, 10,000 steps and today i have 22,000 steps so uh i hit that goal i just read uh for 15 minutes after we had uh, our dinner uh, which is nice the the book I'm reading is starting to pick up so or like it's not it's a non-fiction book but it's still starting to pick up you can feel there are like two people and they are supposed to meet and you can feel them getting like closer uh, which is nice and then clean for 15 minutes which I definitely did today a lot more than than 50 minutes and then I have like exchanged the bed sheets just so I know when I did it last so I don't have that for like every day and then I need to uh, a clean one like tack thing so either the bridal or the I don't know what that's called but like the the thing under the saddle not the saddle blanket but like around the tummy either that one or clean the uh, I don't know any words in English being weird. yeah whatever I need to clean something that has to do with riding the horse and give the horses water that's just mainly to to give myself like a routine uh, because otherwise I will forget and then I will only do it like or I will do it in the morning uh, but I would like to do it in the evening so I don't have to do it in the morning when I'm pressed for time because I need to go to work um, so I want to do it kind of in the evening uh, and then uh, the only one that I haven't done today that I should do daily is uh, do my makeup but that's okay it's Sunday I feel like Sundays are okay not to do your makeup oh I need to I even need to <laughs> I put in like post something on Instagram because I'm really bad with posting if I don't kind of make it a to do uh, so I actually did that just a few hours ago uh, so if you don't follow our Instagram you should do it it's the Andala God, which is kind of like a mashup um, of my last name or surname and uh, my boyfriend's. And so, yeah, we think it's kind of cute. The, the farm doesn't have a name, so we kind of made up a name. And then I just have some to-dos uh, that I want to do. Like I want to film my 20 and 2020 update soon uh, so that I can get it up. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of show, yeah, and um, you also have like, when you do these things, like when you push on something, you will get like uh, experience points. As I said, you also get money, which I have over here, and then you have you can get like objects. You can find objects. So now I have found one uh, lion cub egg, and then also one, which what is this? A dragon, and then I have like potions to uh, which I need to combine with the eggs for them to hatch. And then I have like food uh, down here. So if we go to like my stable where I have all of the the animals, uh, I only have like the standard animals. So then you can see I can like I can press here, and then that will combine the lion cub with one of the potions. So there are like different potions that make them hatch to different things. So here would be like a standard. And here is white and like if I do this one it would be a red dragon or a white dragon or a standard dragon so those are the only options I have and then I have uh, like a pink panda uh, and then you have like food down here so a pink panda likes a pink hmm, what's that called sokkevar uh, so it will grow when I give it like pink food and milk. I'm not sure which one milk is. Hmm. I know these two, I don't think I have that one. I think it's like shade. Yeah, it's this one and I don't have anyone in that category. 
Milk could be like the standard. Should we try that? Let's try it. No, it wasn't. Probably white. Yeah, should I realize that? It's probably white. But yeah, so then you like collect these, and you can see I have a lot more to collect. So yeah, that's exciting. And. And yeah, I actually think we're gonna end this vlog here. Uh, I have no idea about the footage of this vlog, if, vlog, vlog, vlog if it's interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure, and if I don't know if it's super long, but hopefully it's interesting. I always get super excited about vlogging when I'm vlogging, and I feel like everything I'm doing currently is like super exciting. Uh, just because it's like in a new house and I'm excited to just show you guys everything uh, But I'm not so sure <laughs> If it's interesting for the viewer, but hopefully it will kind of I Will learn like which bits to vlog and which to not vlog so this this weekend was a very like standard weekend like cleaning and just Organizing and just doing some small DIYs. That's kind of what I do like every weekend um, so hopefully we will do like some some more this will be like the base vlog and then hopefully there will be some more more like I don't know exciting vlogs in future but yeah as I said that is going to uh, wrap up this video thank you so much if you are here until the end I have a feeling that this vlog is going to be a longer one so thank you so much for watching through the entire thing. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And please comment down below if you like this vlog and you want me to do more. Uh, I will do more, but it's nice to know that someone is watching them. And yeah, I will see you in my next one. Bye!